well, uh, that was interesting. Y okay, Archibald? Oh, just fine, thank you. <laughs> Ahem. You'll be glad to know, folks, that we have saved the best for last. It has long been rumored that Gilbert and Sullivan, the brilliant musical duo, penned one last musical before their deaths. This musical, legend has it, was lost before it could be staged. Well, if my cohorts, Philippe and Jean-Claude, are correct, we have that lost musical. The fellows? Ah! Oh, oh! We have it right here! Right here! The last musical of this Gilbert and Sullivan! Mais oui! Oh, splendid! <laughs> Let me have a look at it. Oh, here it is! Gilbert and Sullivan present Lyle the Kindly Viking, a musical pop up book. Well, get ready for a truly historic event! Once upon a time, there was a little village by the sea where there dwelt a band of Vikings. Good morning, Mabel. How are you, dear? Oh, just fine and dandy. Is Harold round here? I haven't seen him. <laughs> But that's no surprise. Olaf's gone too. <laughs> They're out with the guys. We should have listened to our mothers and married more judiciously. But we pick men with metal hats who sail across the sea. You live and learn. We marry Vikings. What are you know? The terrors of the sea. They're Vikings. Wherever they go, pillaging happily. They're Vikings. Let there be no ambiguity. Cause this is my life as a Viking wife. We have to admit that it's rife with strife. But that's the lot we got when married we. The terrors of the sea. Oh, look what the cat drug in. Wonder what they brought back this time. Hey, uh, there's your wife, Olaf. Mm, yep, and there's your wife, Harold. Oh, boy, do they love us or what? Well, what's not to love? I mean, after all, we're Viking. What do you know? The terrors of the sea. We're Viking. Wherever we go, pillaging happily. We're Vikings. Let there be no ambiguity. Vikings, cause who doesn't like a pile of loot? Some gold and jewels and a shiny suit. And a giant screen TV to boot. A Viking life for me, yo ho. We're Vikings. So that was the life of a Viking. Pillaging and plundering. Uh, those are fancy words for, well, for taking other people's things. They were stealing. Uh, their boats were so fast that no one could catch them, so they could get away with it. But not all the Vikings were involved in this unfortunate practice. Uh, no, uh, there was one in particular. His name was Lyle. Good morning, Lyle. Good morning. You missed another raid, Lyle. I know. I was making stuff. Lyle never went on the raids. Instead, he'd stay home and make crafts. Uh, uh pot holders, to be exact. What you got in the bag, Lyle? Pot holders. You want one? Oh, you gave me one last week, but thank you. Here's your share of the loot, Lyle. Uh, don't worry, it's the least we could give you. Thanks. Now, Lyle was definitely an unusual Viking. Whenever the other Vikings returned from a raid, he would take his small bag of loot, plus a bunch of potholders, and head out to sea on his own expedition. Hi, Sven. Hi, Otar. As you can imagine, this puzzled the other Vikings quite a bit. What's 
up with Lyle? What's up with Lyle? I'm telling you that boy doesn't fit the Viking style. Since 793, our strategy's been clear. Go get stuff from over there and bring it over here. You know that little guy? He's got me feeling all contempty. He takes his boat out loaded up and brings it back in empty. What? What? What is up with Lyle? Yes, uh, well, uh, no one could figure out what Lyle was up to. So two of the other Vikings, uh, two fellows named Sven and Otar, decided to follow him and find out. You guys go ahead. We'll catch up. Uh, Sven, you don't have to sing. But it's a musical! Uh, yeah, I know, but you don't have to sing every line in a musical. Uh, talking is okay, too. Oh, okay. So very stealthily, they followed Lyle across the sea. No, you're too close. He's gonna see us. No, 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 Sven, no. Sven, I'm not close enough. Would you just let me? We're gonna lose them. I'm just trying to grab. Closer. I'm... No, no, too close. I no, just... no. Would you just? And much to their surprise, he led them right back to the monastery they had raided the night before. What? Huh? What is he doing? Ah, uh, but can I see? Uh, but Sven, no, hold on, hold would on. You, just I, a minute. I, wait, I wanna. No, come would on. You, would you just? No, let I, go. I got Give me the. I got him. Just. Um, those were Olaf's. Dear monks, dear monks, what can I say? My friends have taken your things away. Dear monks, dear monks, what can I do? I've come to bring some back to you. I cannot make it all come back, for they are bigger and all. But I'll share what I have in my little sack And a few of my own pot holders Hey, it's the thought that counts Dear little Viking boy You can call me Lyle Oh, okay <clears throat> Dear Lyle, dear Lyle, we like your style for we were all despairing But you rode your boat for many a mile To practice an act of sharing Boys? Thank you, thank you, Viking friend No longer are we blue Rest assured that Sven and Otar were very confused. I'm confused. They returned home and waited to confront Lyle. Not so fast. Don't take another hop. We know where you've been, and we think it's gotta stop. Huh? We Vikings rule the seas. We pillage and attack. We never say please, and we never give stuff back. Not to mention the potholders. You both care about your share of gold, so rare, and big TVs. But when I share, I get my share of friends. Do -do 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 What's the use 
A golden goose is no excuse for being mean. When I share, I get my share of friends. Do, 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 Yeah. Well, Sven and Otar had never thought about it that way. Could sharing actually give them more of what would make them really happy? Even they had noticed that watching that big screen TV wasn't all that fun by yourself. They needed to give that a little more thought. In the meantime, though, they knew Lyle would be in big trouble if Olaf learned what he was doing. If Olaf finds out, you'll be in big trouble. Uh, you can just talk. Oh, right. <clears throat> if Olaf finds out, you know. Well, Olaf's not gonna find out. This will be our little secret. Thanks, guys. So they resolved not to let Olaf find out. Unfortunately, this was easier said than done. Just a few days later, as the Vikings were headed out to raid the monastery once again, it was the only monastery in the area, Otar spotted something. Oh, no. What is it? It's Lyle. He's at the monastery. <gasps> If Olaf sees him, he's in big trouble! What do we do? We've got to distract Olaf! Look, Olaf, there's a fish with a pretty yellow circle at the bottom of the backside of his fin. Look, Olaf, there's another and another and another! And that little one has got a funny grin. Well, I don't Look, see Olaf, 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 way down underneath the water. It's the biggest fish I think I've ever seen. Look, Olaf, he's got purple spots and orange and yellow markings and a dorsal fin that's iridescent green. What? Otar, I don't see any of that. Sven, we've got to distract him. Help me out. Oh. Look, Olaf, there's a turtle and he's wearing pink pajamas and he's got a cowboy hat upon his lid. Look, Olaf, very close and see he's riding on a llama and he's chasing down the herd of giant squid. Look, Olaf, 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 There's a whale that's dancing with a bear. Look, Olaf, it's a mermaid. It's an ostrich. It's a bunny. Look, Olaf, please look anywhere, but... I don't see anything. What? But there. Hey, isn't that Lyle? Mm-hmm. And he left something with those monks. What is it? It's... Potholders and the little bag of loot we gave him. <gasps> hey, that goes against the code of the Viking. You can say that again. Why, that little Viking is in big trouble. What do you think you're doing? I was... Giving them stuff back. Um, yeah? Well, now there's a storm of brewing, and you're the one that's under. An example out of this ex-Viking! You know, I think Harold is right. We gotta get out of here! Almost done! You'll see that nothing good comes from giving things back! Somebody to save us, too. Thanks, guys. We knew we could help you someday. But what about my friends? Ah, uh, uh, they were mean to us. I'm pretty sure God wants us to help everyone, not just the people who are nice to us. Oh, you're right. We're monks. We should know that, huh? All right, come on, boys. Let's save the Vikings. Ah, uh, can we put away the good silverware foist? Oh, all right. So not only did the monks save Lyle, they 
saved all the Vikings from the storm. And just because Lyle had made friends with them by sharing. Thank you, thank you, our new friends. You saved us from the sea. Rest assured that we intend to share proficiently. We used to care about our share of gold so rare and big TVs. But when we share, we get our share of friends. <laughs> What's the use? A golden goose is no excuse for being mean. When we share, we get a share of friends. Does that mean we can't be Vikings anymore? Not necessarily, but I do think you need to change your song. What do you know? The sharers of the sea. We're Vikings. Wherever we go, sharing happily. We're Vikings. Let there be no animosity. Because our pillaging ways we will amend by sharing and caring and making friends and fun. They are singing is at its end. The sharers of the sea. We're Vikings. The sharers of the sea. I need to go to the back. Ah, uh, Sven, you can stop singing now. Oh, right. His Majesty, the troubled Prince Omelette, requests his dairy eggs. Cooked light and fluffy. Doth not the troubled prince know that these are the last eggs? in the entire kingdom. But of course. Why do you think he is troubled? Will the prince not share his eggs with his starving people? Perhaps he'll think about that over lunch. <sighs> the prince's eggs coming up. Ow! Just step right at my feet. Woe is me! I am troubled! Alas, forsooth, the country is rapidly running out of eggs. The people are starving, and I am helpless to help them. What will become of my kingdom? Aha! Something's cooking in the state of Denmark. Your eggs, Prince Omelet! Cooked light and fluffy! The last eggs in the kingdom! The last poor yolks! I'll chew them well, Horatio. But soft, it is Ophelia. But soft, it is Ophelia. But I don't want to do it. It's embarrassing. Oh, no, be ridiculous. It's tradition. In Shakespeare's day, all the women's roles were played by men. I think we're gonna get letters about this. It is I, the fair Ophelia. Uh, pray thee, what news, fair Ophelia? I beseech thee, my lady. Oh, my lord, I come with disparaging news. More bad news? The people, my lord, they're starving. There are not enough eggs for them. Meanwhile, you feast on eggs every day, cooked light and fluffy. Tis rottenness that has beset the fair kingdom. And on top of that, my eggs are getting cold. Oh, my troubled prince, I beseech and implore thee, please share, share your eggs with the people. Share my eggs? Share my eggs? Then I won't have any. What are you thinking, Ophelia? <gasps> Simply this. God says he likes it when we share our blessings. Goodbye. Can I take this off now? To eat or not to eat? That is the question. 
Whether it is nobler to share my eggs, cooked light and fluffy, or to scarf down the whole thing myself. To share or not to share. What you doing there, young lad? Just playing, your highness. Ah, are you just gonna keep playing like that, uh, alone? Uh, I don't know. Would you like to share my game? Well, sure. Playing's the thing. Great. Just guess where you think my ships are. Oh, okay. To be. Uh, not to be. Drat. Uh, your turn. Hey, what's that? Oh, uh, that would be mine eggs, uh, cooked light and fluffy. It looks quite yummy. Uh, might I try a bite? Ah, I, I, um, well, um, sure, uh, sure you can. Hey! What? Uh, me thinks I just shared with you, uh, didn't I? Uh, me thinks you did. Ha! Sharing? Uh, you know, that, that wasn't so bad. Uh, ac actually, it, it felt pretty good. Your Highness, uh, the things God wants us to do for others uh, usually make us feel good, too. You called your Highness? Uh, no, not yet. My mistake. Oh, servant? You called your Highness? Uh, yes, uh, call everyone together. I have an announcement to make. Mary, your Highness? Denmark, I have decided to share my eggs with you! Yay! Because God likes it when we share our blessings. But sire, there aren't enough eggs to go around. Where do you find these eggs anyway? Oh, you know, uh, they're the little white round things that uh, come out of chickens. What? We thought those were ping pong balls. We got plenty of those. Eggs cooked light and fluffy for everyone! Yay! Yeah. 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 I have an idea! <laughs> Why don't we name these light and fluffy eggs after our beloved prince? I give you the omelette! Hey. hey, boss, where might I find some toast? Get thee to a bakery. Did you understand any of that? Not a word. And now it's time for Silly Songs with Larry, the part of the show. Stop! Stop! Don't even think about it! As if omelette wasn't bad enough. Ahem. <clears throat> Philippe? Jean-Claude? Oui? Really? And now it is time for Classy Songs with Larry, the part of the show where Larry comes out and sings a classy song. One day, while he was waiting for the trolley, he had a hat, my high silk hat. He wore it high upon his head so proudly, a beautiful hat, my high silk hat. A hat like this just makes him feel so grandly, now fancy this and fancy that. The splendor of this hat in all its majesty, like a king in a royal cap. I feel so swell and handsome in my hat. I bet that others wish they had. In fact, a hat as this, a hat as that, a hat so fine, a high so hat. Oh, Mr. Art Bugatti, now what do you think of that? Now his hat was not all he wore so proudly. I must, in fact, share more than that. For upon his lap there sat a treat so fondly of chocolate this and chocolate that. Deliciousness that makes him feel so dandy A chocolate bliss A chocolate snack Inventions such as these are more than candy Somewhat like mine, a box of that I have my chocolate 
chocolate placed upon my lap. I feel so good, you just cannot top that. I have my sack of chocolate, pack of chocolate, this and chocolate, that. Oh, golly, Mr. Nazar, now what do you think of that? Now time was passing and the sun grew hotter upon his hat. And so his hat. So beneath his hat he thought and pondered. What should I do to save my hat? He thought and contemplated as he perspired beneath his hat. Upon his hat. He feared his chocolate treats would soon retire and to a pool. A chocolate bag. I won't feel grand if I take off my hat. The sun's getting hot and my hat just might go flat. My hat just might go flat and my sweets will melt like that. Oh, hurry, Mr. Trolley, before my dad furnace goes flat. <laughs> Decided to forego his look so dashing to save his hat and eat a snack. So he placed the treats upon the seat beside him and put his hat on top of that. Oh please, oh, please, oh, please. don't anybody sit close to me, sit close to me. upon my hat. On my hat. I ask if all of you could be so kindly and just stand back away from my snack. Squished my snack, oh, what of that? Oh, tell me anybody, now what do you think of that? A great big squash is sat upon his hat. A great big enormous squash squished his hat. The black is white, he's happy, 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 I've been around since show one, and I still don't have a name. Now, what do you think of that? 